Hey guys, welcome and to some of you welcome back. Today I'm testing the new F104G EFM model. I'm not focused on graphics or models or animations really, although this one looks good. Focus of my videos is 100% on flying. I already have a combat video in the 104 that was actually flown after I did these tests. Combat was so different in the 104 that I just had to post that video raw. Now when I do a test flight there are a few things I'm trying to do. One thing is to get familiar with a plane. This is something essential. Being an actual pilot for over 26 years, there is a routine that I use to get familiar with a new plane. And I do this in real life and brought that onto DCS. One of the things that I do in these flight tests is to see whether the DCS plane is realistic. There's actually two parts to this. One is does it fly like a plane? And two, are the flight dynamics correct? So here we go for the takeoff, full afterburner. Everything happens fast. Hundred and fifty knots, rotate. Real plane flies at 170, 180 knots. This one lifts at 190. Gear up immediately and flaps up before 320 knots. Accelerate to 450 and then power back to military power. Pitch for 450 knots for a combat climb or 400 knots for a normal climb. Now let's go over this takeoff. The plane felt very realistic on takeoff. Small wings just don't have that much lift. There's two things to note. The version I'm flying in this video is currently being updated and will have better lift components uh, on takeoff. It, it should take off at about 170, 180. Hopefully this will be completed by the release on October 15th. Also the acceleration from 170 to 350 knots was a little bit too fast, about 3 to 5 seconds too fast in the real plane. This should also be fixed in some of the upcoming updates. Okay, after takeoff, the next thing that I do in a plane is something called slow flight. This is probably the most essential test that I do on every plane. I put the plane in the landing configuration and fly it at a minimum controllable airspeed. In this case, that's about 160 knots. This is probably a bit lower in the real one, about 140, 150 knots maybe. This will probably be fixed in the update I mentioned above on October 15th, where this plane actually flies off at about 170 to 180 knots or so. Again, testing the slow flight has two purposes. One, it lets me learn the characteristics of the plane, when the plane is slow and unstable. This actually gets you ready for takeoffs, landings, slow turns, stalls, and slow speed combat like horizontal scissors. And there's other things. You really get familiar with a plane fast. This also lets me find out whether a DCS plane flies realistically. Okay, in this case, it takes a bit of effort to maintain level flight and steady turns. If you look at the nose, you can see the plane is unstable plane shakes, this plane is wobbly, plane is sluggish. This is what happens in the real plane when flying at minimum speeds. So this is correct that the plane flies this way. Now I've never flown a 104 but my experience tells me that with little wings the plane should be a little bit more unstable. In this case I can put a number on it, I would say it's about 7 out of 10. Something in the range of uh, mid-level pay planes, so it's pretty good. Again with a discussion with the devs this should also be addressed in one of the future updates, so I look forward to it. I like this plane so far. It's really good. And this is the first EFM version, so well done for the devs. The next thing I'm going to do here is actually do some sustained turns at corner speeds. I didn't show it here, but I did test the turn characteristics, and they were about within a degree of the real thing or so. One of the things you want to keep an eye on is the angle of attack indicator. It's right up there in the middle and there's a reason why it's in your face. At uh, 450 knots, the corner speed of the 104 in a sustained turn with the afterburner and the angle of attack should be about 10 degrees. You can see the vapor rise from the wings. The plane is almost at the edge here. Now remember this, uh, you will need it when you're flying this one in combat. I used it in my 104 dogfight with a MiG-21, the video. Now one thing I really wanted to try out in the 104 is the stalls. The F-104 was deadly. It would easily get into an uncontrolled pitch after a stall, then right into an unrecoverable spin. So let's go over this. Uh, first things first, I'm going to do a mild stall to the front. Keep pitching up, and as soon as the plane stalls at 15 degrees angle of attack, nose down or just release the controls. Uh, recover slowly. 
okay here you can see how hard the plane is recovering you don't want a secondary stall so i'm actually going to go into afterburner let me do one more stall and this one in the turn the trick with this is to actually immediately release the controls the slower you go the more time you have to release the controls the faster you go the less time you have and it happens in a split second if over pulled even by a fraction Now let's take a look at the deadly stall, the pitch spin of the 104. It's shaking. Let's keep pull, pull, stall, pull just a second longer and up, pitch up and spin out of control. This is unrecoverable. I even passed out for a second because this one was violent. Now let's take a look at this from the outside. It's a very accurate representation of the 104. Well done devs, they did a good job on this one. And you're gonna love this one. And it's a doozy, especially when it happens in combat. Okay, so the last thing I want to show here is the landing. Small wings equals fast landings. Again, there's some updates coming. This will probably be fixed a little bit before the release. The landing speed should be a little bit lower. Now, I do want to talk about this plane a little bit. So just stay tuned after the landing, please. Here I'm approaching about 200 knots. Let's slow down to about 190 over the runway and then touch down. This plane is good. I really like it. The devs got it fairly close to the real thing and they're still improving. Some things are left to be updated, but in my opinion, this is one of the good ones. And one day with a couple improvements, it should be great. You will probably shoot down some planes and survive some other encounters. One thing I do have to mention is that this plane was an interceptor, not a dogfighter. And we have tested it for this role. And it is the most amazing plane I have flown in that role. Myself and a couple other guys are working with the devs to possibly create a video that shows the F-104 in its design role as the interceptor and how to use it. And the F-104 won't disappoint. And there's a reason they call it the Starfighter. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you download the F-104 when it comes out. And I hope that some of you put it on the server because it really belongs here. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys soon.